let's start by first writing the equations for each segment in the graph given to us. For the segment between 0 seconds and 5 seconds, our equation is v equals 4t. The second segment between 5 and 20 seconds is simply v equals 20. And for the last segment, you can use y equals mx plus b to figure out the equation, which is v equals negative 2t plus 60. Let's do the simpler part first, which is to figure out the acceleration. Figuring out the acceleration involves taking the derivative of each of our equations. So for the first segment, we have 4 meters per second squared. The second segment becomes 0, and the last segment becomes negative 2 meters per second squared. The graph looks like this. Now to figure out the displacement, we need to use v equals ds over dt. We can manipulate this to write it as ds is equal to v dt. Now we can take the integral. For the first segment, we can write it like this. Note that both lower bounds for the integral starts at 0. In other words, the car starts at a displacement of 0 meters at a time of 0 seconds. We now have the first equation for the first segment. Let's figure out the displacement at 5 seconds, which is 50 meters. We need to use this value when we do the integral for the second segment as the initial condition. Another way to think about it is to think of the car after it has moved. So in essence, the car moved 50 meters in 5 seconds. And now, we need to figure out how far the car traveled after the first 50 meters. Again, remember that 5 seconds have now elapsed. Now let's take a look at the second segment. For this, the lower bound for the integral starts at 50 meters. And the time starts at 5 seconds. Solving gives us s is equal to 20t minus 50. Now we will substitute a time value of 20 to figure out the displacement at that time. The car has moved a total of 350 meters in 20 seconds. We will do the same as before for the last segment. The lower bounds for the displacement starts at 350 meters and the time starts at 20 seconds. Solving gives us our displacement equation. Let's figure out the distance the car traveled in 30 seconds. The car moved 450 meters in 30 seconds. You can also figure out these values by calculating the area under the graph of each segment and then adding it to the previous segment. The graph looks like this. Thanks for watching, and if you have any helpful tips for others to learn from, or you have a question, please comment and we will do our best to help.